Mr. Petron, what exactly do you see as major challenges in the global supply chains given the environment uh, and how we actually proceed, uh, bearing in mind the geopolitical and the economic conditions as well? Well, certainly the world has changed. COVID was the uh, first uh, uh, force that affected everything. It, it, it stretched our supply chains, which actually have held up well, I think, until the war now. Uh, unfortunately, we have some issues with uh, food and energy security. Uh, many countries, of course, grain and oil and coal and natural gas are strategic. Uh, they, need their, they need it and need it now, just in time inventory is finished. I think that whole era of keeping inventory off your balance sheet uh, is now changed and people want higher inventory. Uh, and I think that's stretching the ships. We also have a lot of uh, ton mile increases because of the war. You have 4% circa extra ton miles on the oil side, probably about 4% on the, on the dry side, which again, stretches the supply chain, makes things more expensive. Um, it, it helps inflation, which is another issue we really haven't addressed in terms of cost-wise going forward. And I think uh, that and the IMO regulations are some um, real changes that are in front of us that we haven't addressed yet because we're just still dealing with, with sanctions and the, and the war and uh, supply chain issues with getting the star crews, 150 vessels. We have circa 3,000 crewmen on the water every day. We need to keep safe and informed and change them and tell their families they're safe. Um, it really has, the world really has changed quite quickly. It's brought forward a lot of mega, chain, uh, mega trends that were in place, but it's brought it forward quite quickly. Obviously, we need to adapt to the new market conditions. How do you think we can achieve that? Well, you know, Warren Buffett, the famous U.S. investor, said that uh, winners adapt. And I think we took this time at Navios to reimagine shipping. We rethought about it. And we, we came to the conclusion that uh, having a diversified platform where we have uh, three segments, containers and dry and wet, all counter-cyclical to each other, it, it, it reduces it, our risk profile, it gives us uh, cross-segment opportunities. We think that is probably the perfect model to navigate these uh, disruptive waters of this new geopolitical world whereby fiat, India can stop exporting, China can pick up exporting or importing or, or reduce it at, you know, at, at a signature. And the world has changed. The, the politics are involved. You have to be nimble. And to have a large company be quite nimble, I think we've done a great job of restructuring our office and restructuring our communications. And I think we've adapted for the times and I think you'll be seeing other people pick up this model in the near future. Mr. Petron, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, just a final comment. Uh, it's actually been two years since the COVID-19 just put everything on a halt. And now we are back in the Posidonia, just getting all together. Yes. H how does that feel? Yes. You know, just starting yesterday, I left New York and JFK was the usual madhouse that it was always before COVID. And coming here and seeing people I've only seen on Zoom for the last two years, I think we have a bit of normality coming back to the world. It's never going to be... It's going to be the new normal, not the old normal, but it feels really good to be in Greece and to be part of the conference and seeing my old friends and shipping again.